historic new defence pact between the US, the UK and Australia is a coordinated show of diplomatic might aimed at confronting China. Uh, while there's no specific mention of China, uh, this deal is a clear response to Beijing's growing influence in the Indo-Pacific, uh, especially it comes at a time when tensions in the region are growing, especially when it comes to Taiwan and the South China Sea. Now, this uh, exclusive agreement will see the Americans share secret nuclear technology with the Australian Navy. Uh, Prime Minister Scott Morrison earlier today said uh, he understands that France uh, uh, is disappointed by this news, but that he is acting in Australia's best interests and that Paris remains a very important strategic partner in the Pacific. When the deal with the French uh, Naval Group uh, was signed back in 2016, it was hailed as the contract of the century. So it was a surprise uh, when the news uh, came through that the deal had been scrapped, but at the same time, it wasn't completely unexpected either. Uh, Canberra had been openly discussing abandoning the project, and that's because the deal has been hit, uh, had been hit by lengthy delays, uh, disputes over local industry involvement, and a budget blowout of at least 25 billion euros. And now that the contract with the French is being torn up, Australian taxpayers will likely have to fork out uh, some 250 million euros in break payments to the French. But from uh, Canberra's perspective, ending the deal with the French now uh, will save Australia in the long term.